Hey gang, uh, this one is review of your logs and exponential test for Integrated Math 3, the first part. So this is the first side of a review handout that I'm giving you. So here we go. So find the inverse of f of x equals 3 to the x. All right, well that's easy enough. So remember we, we replace uh, y with f of x and then we're going to switch the x's and the y's and then we solve for the new y. Okay, so, so here it's in the exponent, so I'm going to go ahead and log both sides, but I'm going to log base 3 of both sides because um, uh, when these numbers match up, it just equals that y right there. So when we do that, uh, I call it the blah blah rule. As long as this base and this base match up, then it's that exponent right there. So here these 3's match up, so this just equals y. So there it is right there, y equals this. And then we replace that with f inverse so that would be, it looks like f to the negative 1, but that says f inverse of x, so equals log base 3 of x. Okay, so, all right, let's go ahead and graph uh, f of x equals 3 to the x, and then we'll graph the inverse. We're going to graph this guy right here, so log base 3 of x. Okay, well, now this one, careful, um, I had to go back and change this, you guys. This is going by 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so... Anyway, so um, uh, this graph is going to afford me to go all the way up to 3 to the third power because 3 to the third is 27. And so when I go over 3, here's 2, here's 4. So over 3 would be right there. It's going to go up to 27, okay? All right, let's do uh, y equals 3 to the negative 1. Well, 3 to the negative 1 is 1 over 3 to the positive 1, which is... Um, uh, one third, okay, so to the left one up a third, okay, so to the left a half a square and barely up a, uh, a little bit. Okay, let's go three to the zero. Well, three to the zero equals one, so um, to the left or right zero up one, okay, so there it is. Three to the first is three, so over one square up a square and a half, because remember they're going by twos. Three squared is nine, so over um, a full square. That's what 2 is, okay, so we're going over 2, up 9, okay, and then finally we'll do over 3, up to 27, okay, so there it is right there, there's f of x, all right, and then to graph the, um, uh, the inverse, you guys, we can just um, interchange or switch uh, the x's and the y's, so these guys get switched, these guys get switched, so I'm just switching all the x's and the y's. It's quicker to do it that way. So here we'll go over a third, down one. So over a third, it's just barely, and then down one, like right there. Over one, um, over one, up zero, okay? Over three, up one, and so on. Over 27, so there's uh, 26, 27, up three. So it'll be right there, okay? So there's the, uh, the, the inverse of that. So... This is um, uh, y equals 3 to the x, and this is y equals log base 3 of x, okay? And can you see the, uh, the reflection over the line y equals x? Can you see bluey and reddy? Uh, they're just mere images of each other, okay? All right, so we have a section that looks like this. So let f of x equal log base 9 um, of x and solve the following. So here we're going to plug in uh, what is log base 9 of 1 over 81. Okay, and so this one's going to be log base 9 of 243, log base 9 of 1, log base 9 of root 3 over 3. Okay, so our goal here is to, well, let's make them all equal to y's right there. If we make them all equal to y's, and then we can say, you know, 9 to the y power equals that number. Are you guys with me? All right, so let's make them all the same base. Okay, let's do one at a time. So here's this one right here. Okay, so 9 to the y is the same as 1 over 9 squared, and 1 over 9 squared is 9 to the negative 2 power. So y must be negative 2. Okay, all right, let's try this one here. Okay, so here, um, uh, 243 is not a power of 9, but both are a power of 3s. So let's change them to powers of 3s. Okay, 9 is 3 squared, okay, and then 243 is 3 to the 5th. So here, powers raised to powers, we multiply those, so we get 3 to the 2y equals 3 to the 5th. Now we have 3 to a power equals 3 to a power, so this power must equal that power right there. So 2y equals that 5, and so y equals 5 halves. Okay, pretty cool. 
Okay, so right here we're going to go um, this 9 to this power equals that. I thought I had that, but I guess I didn't. Okay, now again, uh, change this to 3 squared. And this is 3 to the 1 half, and this is 3 to the first right there. So now we got them all in terms of 3 to a power. Okay, now remember, when you have this over this, we subtract these exponents. So 1 half minus 1 is um, uh, negative 1 half, okay? So now we have 3 to the 2y equals 3 to the negative 1 half, so that means 2y equals uh, negative 1 half, okay? Now, it's, um, instead of dividing by 2, since we've got a fraction over here, it's, it's, uh, it's cleaner if we multiply by a half. It's the same as dividing by 2. But when, when you're dealing with fractions, it's, it's, it's easier to multiply by a half, okay? So we get uh, negative one-fourth on that guy, okay? All right, this one's the easy one right here, okay? Anything to the zero equals one. So uh, y has to be zero on that. All right, so name three points on the graph of the inverse function of uh, f of x equals four to the negative x. Okay, there's a few ways to do it, you guys. I think it's easiest just to... Um, uh, find three points on this function right here and then just switch them. Okay, remember the inverse is just you just switch the x's and the y's. So let's plug in negative 1. 4 to the negative negative 1 is going to be 4 to the positive 1, which is 4. 4 to the 0 is 1. 4 to the negative 1 is 1 over 4 to the positive 1, which is 1 fourth. So that's three points on this function right here. So the inverse would be just to switch them, okay? So switch them. This would be x. This would be y, x, y, x, y. That's what that says right there. Okay, there's other ways to do it, but that, that way is pretty cool. Okay, so the exponential function, uh, here it is, uh, models the growth of a colony of bacteria with initial population of 1,000 over uh, time t, and t is in minutes. So how long does it take for the population to double in size? Okay, let's do one at a time here. So double in size would mean it would be at 2,000. Okay, so let's divide both sides by 1,000, and then we'll natural log both sides. Because when we natural log both sides, um, remember we have um, uh, natural log is base e. So this, if these numbers match up, it equals that exponent. So when you natural log a e right there, it's just going to be this exponent. So 0 0.036t equals the natural log of 2. Okay, now we'll divide both sides by 0 0.036, and we get about 19.25 minutes when you plug that in your calculator. Okay, how long does it take for the population to reach a million? Okay, so you make that equal to a million, and then we're going to divide both sides by a thousand. And when we divide by 1,000, we get that, and then we're going to natural log both sides, and we use our blah blah rule, and then divide by 0 0.036, and so we get about 191.88 minutes, which is about 3.2 hours. Okay, I divided that by 60. All right, write a function that gives the, the time as a function of the population. So this that's just is code word, solve for t. So here I'm just going to divide both sides by 1,000 first, and then we're going to natural log both sides. Remember the blah, blah rule, so uh, it equals that exponent right there. And again, uh, we got a fraction over here. It just looks cleaner. Instead of dividing by 0.036, I'm going to multiply by 1 over... 0 0.036. Okay, so that just looks cleaner. So there's our function in terms of time. All right. All right. So what is the pH of a liquid of uh, with a hydrogen ion concentration of 9.75 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter? Okay, so we're just going to plug that in right here. Okay, and we're going to use uh, that this function right here to solve. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll plug that in. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can probably use your calculator right here and just do 1 divided by that, change that to a decimal. But I'm going to use our properties of logarithms, you guys. And remember when we we're multiplying things, we separate them with an addition sign. So here, here's a multiply with a separation. I'm going to separate these guys up by separate logs with an addition sign. And then when you have a fraction, then it's going to be the top minus the bottom. So up here it's going to be the top minus the sum of the bottoms when we log all of that. Okay, So we have uh, the log of this 1 minus the log of this plus the log of this. Okay, Now the log of 1 is 0. Anything to the 0 power equals that 1. Okay, Plug this into your calculator and then since this is base 10, okay, so we can use our blah blah rule here. This equals negative 3. 
So when we add, um, uh, we did that in our calculator, 0 0.989 plus negative 3 is the same as minus uh, 3, so we get um, uh, negative 2.01, so 0 minus a minus 2.01 is about a pH of a, about 2.01, okay. All right, so I uh, used a parent function, log base 3 of x, and the transformation function of, of uh, log of th base 3 of x plus 4, and what's the domain and range, and sketch both f and g. I, I'm going to do this part first, you guys. Let's ske sketch f first. So we did this before, so um, uh, remember, um, uh, if f of x equals y, which equals log base 3 of x, okay, that's going to be this right here. Remember, this base to this power equals equals um, this right here, so 3 to the y equals x. So if I plugged all of these in for y's, 3 to the negative 1 is 1 over 3 to the positive 1, so that would be 1 third. 3 to the 0 is 1, 3 to the 1 is... Um, is 3 and 3 squared is 9 so that's those would be our x's right there okay so when we graph those okay there's our log function our log base 3 of x all right and then to um, uh, now let's shift it to the left 4 down 3 so when we go to the left 4 down 3 and then we just graph these same points with this pretend origin so this was over a third down um, uh, 1 so if we go over a third down one it will be down there okay and then over one up zero so over one up zero and then over three up one so here's two three up one and then over nine up two okay and let's let's get those uh, pairs in there okay so that's negative four right there and we want a third to the right so it's going to be uh, negative three and two thirds okay so and that's down there at negative 4, negative 3, 3, negative 1, negative 2. So let's get the real order pairs and then graph that guy. And then, then it's easier to state the domain and range, okay? The domain is everything to the right. So x is greater than negative 4. The range is up and down. This guy goes up and down forever. So in set notation, there's our domain and range. All right, you guys.